area hey i salute to now when i welcome back again to the odtv board where they analyze the trends where they happen where will they gather the story together with the carry and bit by bit gather everything together i can't tell you now well we don't see i'm saying the nlc finally they don't accept they don't come to resolution with the government that aside bam that's close we've heard no say although they are trade no go water so that's case close they will come and see so many things they happen um but i'll be coming react to this um for subsidy in talk say a dbc na him no no our peter will be now see waiting for do see waiting for do see waiting for put in place and we don't see the years same man the old court proceedings and uh, more uh, evidence they come out and people they come out they come they testify against the old issue so the teacher they grad they gradually they drag itself you know small 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 but we get there i know we go get there <laughs> so i neck not get choice whether they drag their feet or they drag their leg they drag their head though one thing is say justice must take place well some lawyers when they talk and say well this old case let's like, say article no get um chance to even win them because to start with no we get 25 percent of the fct we are getting there so i will just put some pieces together of their important um stories on our miss especially um aero fire we can't talk for me it's rubbish you know and um, say even from not in 20 years or whatever that muslim would be this muslim with that we all know uh, that um some group of persons want to turn this nigeria into islamic state but god has sit on the throne you know go great so and it has to be we know anything not shake us every two years they talk not shake us we know that that was an to an extent that what he said then you're not really good at all and nobody will like him i mean whatever he says nigerian will show now they don't regard him as anybody so i just want to chuck in judy austin and yule doche on i know say it's been a long time i've talked about them mm -hmm. but i just put more thing put for there you know say there's one thing men like even in the some men not the do they not they behave well but there's something they like they like respect they want me woman they respect them that's what they always shout like you're not respecting me you're not respecting me you're not respecting me and um one thing where women they do where men are still like say that they talk women they talk and the videos where they train right now by you like do you say you say you want to expose um judy say uh there are so many things um, the world do not know about Judy. We be saying why expose come out. When I expose Judy, you know, expose Judy. Don't want to cause anybody. We just know that you guys are putting up this video so that um your keep your page going, make it they keep you now the day trending and all that. So we all know the story. But I think that conversation went too far. Not because they take planner before, but the thing went to an extent. You know, you kind of vomit some certain things come out. Deceive people. Let me not like the deception when they come inside. Let me not like so. Uh, you'll have his own shortcomings. Uh, same with um um what's her name again? Oh, Judy. Uh -huh. So same with Judy. So that video watch. There might there might be elements of small small truth inside. Oh, uh -huh. but I know that they decide to do it. Made a post them because this is you they talk say you went to post it without my consent they don't want to say you went to post it without my all those are childish behavior now then the next thing um uh, the, uh, the previous video they did before it's like um judy was uh, judy kind of support um um chickens um you friend he couldn't support him you know say he, he um get accidents with the car and they, you know tell him you you know and for judy to support you he can't go to support chicken for me, there's one word to that. Maybe don't the fall for chicken. Ah, I don't talk my own. I don't talk my own. <laughs> it's not the fall for chicken because if um your husband do something we're not good and if friend did or somebody did, then are two things. Is that you keep quiet, don't talk, or call your husband aside and talk to him. Not supporting uh, the next person or the next party in the presence of your husband. You're actually letting your husband down. And that's what Judy did. I don't want to go into all those story at all because those two people, they are character. In fact, the only person will be say it different or it different from among three of them, which is you, um, Judy and May. Not only May different because May not be actress. So Judy and you, they are act, act are they are actors. So <laughs> they can do anything. We can expect anything from them. If you do anything, 
So not only me, now it's different. So me, no one understand me, then they play all this play with they play. So so now me, now be the different person. Yeah, and for so many bloggers, we be say they not see understand. Uh, you let do chair and do the other the matter. I see a lot of posts and all that. Majority of them is just making them train. They want train so that they give you that content. May you pick them up, make them to train, right? So I don't see the reason why they will do video where they know say no, why they not delete them. Think about it. You know, so you do something you're not good, then why you not delete them? Then why is Judy refusing to tell um, you let do chair sorry in the course of the argument and they are recording themselves? Think about it. So, guys, I will leave you now. This is BOD TV board where we analyze trends that is happening and bring it to you in case you missed it. Pastor Skiamu, who was part of the government's team during negotiations, posted a copy of the draft agreement and a picture of the moment after the agreement was signed. Well, I don't know if we have that picture up, but I mean, I guess that picture was uh, trending as well with uh, Festus Kayamo's tweet. I would come to that draft letter, but let me take some reactions. This person wrote, this is Patton, wrote, did anyone read the resolution of engagement with me? No specifics, and they are very promissory and not mandatory. Why was NLC making useless noise before? How would this give immediate impact? On the removal of subsidy, they would have kept mute and allow the federal government to continue its plans. If you were amenable to accommodating long-term plans regarding subsidy removal, despite the immediate harsh effect, why didn't you give credence to the federal government and stop the charade and playing to the gallery in the name of striking for the poor masses? Most of the things the NLC agreed on are still in line with the middle term and long term plans of the federal government without any immediate interventions to cushion the immediate harsh economic realities. A campaign promise document. That's really what it was. A federal high court in Abuja on Monday awarded a 10 million naira fine against Festus Keamo for filing a frivolous suit against the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar. Keamo had sought an order compelling the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the ICPC, and the Code of Conduct Bureau to probe and prosecute Atiku within 72 hours on the grounds of a claim by one of Atiku's aides, Michael Achimugu, who in a viral recording alleged that when Atiku was vice president between 1999 and 2007, he conspired with ex-president Olushagun Obasanjo to rip off the country using what he termed special purpose vehicles in delivering the judgment. The judge said Keyamo did not give a reasonable time for the statutory bodies to act before filing the suit and as such filed the suit in bad faith. Omoto Shaw, who's the judge, awarded 5 million naira fine each in favor of Abubakar and the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, making it 10 million naira. He described the suit as frivolous, vexatious, and an abuse of court process. This is your story, Dr. Abati. I mean, well, I think it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a very serious indictment yes. of uh, Festus Keyamo, former Minister of Labor and Employment. Every lawyer is taught that, look, you are supposed to be an officer in the Temple of Justice. So no matter what the expectations of a client may be, when you go to court, you do so as an officer preserving the integrity, the dignity of the hallowed premises of the court. Former governor of Kaduna State, Nasiru El Rufai, has been accused of wanting to set Nigeria on fire with his utterances. A chieftain of the All Progressives Congress in Play 2 State, Samuel Kwamko, made the accusation after a video in which El Rufai allegedly stated that he deceived Christians during the course of the electioneering campaigns that the APC Muslim Muslim ticket was not for religious dominance, when in actual fact the tickets, both nationally and at the state level, were for Islamic dominance. In the video, which has since gone viral, Arofai is reported to have also said that the victory of Bola Ahmed Tinubu had silenced the Christian Association of Nigeria, adding that he will sustain an Islamic-dominated government for 20 years and unending, not only in Kaduna State, but in Nigeria at large. Kwamko, who is also a former national director of the Christian Association of Nigeria, while reacting to El Rufai's comments, expressed disappointment at his classification of citizens 
of his state as them versus us, which to him meant that the former governor cannot be exonerated from the wanton killings, demolition of houses, and places of worship of Christians in Kaduna. Well, uh, this person wrote, it is really disappointing for El Rufai to brag about religion in a country that is trying to heal. What is the point of the speech? What point is he trying to prove in an election that was clearly questionable? The APC, tell your man not to sow seed of discord in this country. Arms. And he was thanking them for the help that they have provided, specifically in Kaduna State, for ensuring a Muslim Muslim ticket, and also at the national level in ensuring a Muslim Muslim ticket. And he got carried away and got to the extent of saying that, look, a Muslim Muslim leadership will be imposed, both in Kaduna State and also at the national level in Nigeria for the next 20 years. That in itself is insensitive, it's provocative, uh, it doesn't show enough intelligence. Even if, uh, you know, Nasir Rufai says he's a very intelligent man and that he's going back to school to acquire more knowledge. Well, of what use is knowledge if it is not uh, applied with wisdom? Nollywood actress Iyaba Ojo has been trending on social media after she tackled the Lagos state government on the tax levy she received from the Lagos Internal Revenue Service on Monday to the tune of 18.6 million naira. Iyaba was given a seven-day ultimatum to pay the bill while sharing pictures of the personal income tax signed on the letterhead of the LIRS on Instagram, the actress said that she will not pay the bill and is ready to be arrested because she does not understand the methodology at which the LIRS arrived at the tax levy. She also posted a video on social media stating that the tax levy may have been politically motivated. Let's take a listen. These are taxes, you can see, you be, they call it. UBA Bank, can you see? I paid the tax. This one is even like one of the recent ones we just paid for Lagos State, you see? Paid, you can see, paid. So I have a lot of them like that that we pay for. You can see their stamps on it, paid, paid. These are taxes that I have paid for over the years. Do you understand? So I pay tax on my business, I pay tax on my house. Someone very close to me sent me a message and said, ah, I heard about this thing two weeks ago because, you know, he's, is within their carcass. This thing two week, two weeks ago, stuff like that. They were saying it that uh, now because you support me, that will be blah 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 blah. And I don't care. I will support whoever I want to support because it's my right to do so. I'm not fighting anybody. I don't have an issue with anybody. It's my right to do so. What I believe in is what I believe in. What you believe in is what you believe in. Well, I uh, 18.6 million naira is a lot of money, but you know yes. that this has caused a lot of reactions on social media. Let me take one. This is from Kayode, who wrote, everything is not politics. Yabojo knows she has not been paying complete taxes. About 90% of business owners in Lagos underpay their taxes. If you guys get her into trouble and they invoke tax audit and investigation on her, she will regret ever making it uh, a social media issue. If you have followed me very well, right from the time I was a member of Jonathan's economic management team, I have consistently maintained that we need to remove subsidies. Because for me, it's organized crime. People were just stealing the resources of the country. And that crime has to stop. And I showed my own position in empirical data to show that the amount of fuel we consume is totally far no sugar. ahead of the that come and on me. I showed it in data, comparing with countries like Pakistan. And it's very clear. Sorry. So I maintain Sorry. about this removal. And throughout my campaign, go and read my manifesto, I maintain about its removal. If you have a toothache and you go to a dentist, there's a difference between removing your tooth by applying and fish, which will aerate your pain, and just pulling it out. The difference is that the 
I believe it should be removed with conditions. And that condition has to be applied. If I was involved, I would have shown in empirical statistical data how much we are going to save, where we are going to apply it, the gains for the people, so they can. Just like I said, don't try my campaign. But I'm going to govern the people by being open, showing them empirically verifiable facts on how the country can be better. The PDP has a total of 100 witnesses listed to testify to convince the presidential election petition court to obtain the results of the presidential election in Atiku Abubakar's favor, nullifying Tinubu's victory. Two of the four PDP witnesses raised the subject of securing 25% votes in the FCT. PDP coalition agent for the FCT, Abraham David, said both Atiku and Tinubu failed to score the required 25% in the FCT, and as such, not entitled to be returned elected. Also, chairman of the FCT chapter of the PDP, Mohamed Madaki, during cross-examination, re-echoed the FCT 25% narrative, conceding also that Atiku had failed to hit the target. For another witness, Ibrahim Hamza, the PDP coalition agent for Nasrawa State, the result there which shows that the Labour Party scored 191,361 votes, that's 35.40% to emerge tops, was allegedly altered, insisting that the Labour Party can't come first in Nasrawa. The witness says he was made to sign the result sheet on the duress in the presence of the INEC resident electoral commissioner and the state coalition officer. And there was Abiy Sekibo, PDP's fourth witness, who said that agents of Tinubu and APC in River State carried out the alleged threats of ensuring that polling unit result sheets were not uploaded onto the INEC result viewing portal, IREV. A member of Atiku's team of lawyers, Mike Ozekome, seems delighted with the performance of the witnesses. Some of them said he didn't score the required 25% of the votes cast in FCT. And when they asked him, is it your opinion? He says, no, it's not my opinion. <clears throat> it is the law. They should have got 25% of FCT to be declared president. So generally, the trust of our case today was that the um, INEC was hasty and wrong in declaring Tinebu the winner of the elections because every evidence shows that he did not win. In the Labour Party case, the polling unit results of eight additional states have been tendered, bringing to 20 the number of states tendered so far, with the legal team saying there has been some improvement with regards to gaining access to INEC documents. I know not all, particularly the issue of beavers, they have not been able to give us proper cooperation on that. We need to have access to the beavers using our IT team to extract information. Even if the deleted information contains the beavers, there's a procedure of extracting it. So it's for them to avail us that opportunity and then the rest will be uh, we done in court. The pace of the hearing of Atiku Abubakar's petition at the Election Petitions Court continues with 10 witnesses so far and loads of documents standard in the hearing of his petition challenging Tinubu's victory. But at the resume hearing Tuesday, PDP's lawyer, Ita Ejegede, faulted INEC for not fully releasing the required documents, adding that INEC has so far released world-level results for 10 of the 21 states requested from the Electoral Commission. It's on account of insufficient documents to continue hearing of his petition that the PDP lawyer applied to the court for adjournment to sort out documents and scheduling of same. John, we have gotten some. We have not gotten the others. And we have issued the normal processes to compel them to produce these documents. Once we have them, we proceed. But we are comfortable with the speed at which we are going. And we are paid fully, and we are paid fully for it. Thank you. Are they, have, they are INEC forms. They are INEC forms specifically that were used in the election. And that is all. In the hearing of the Labour Party's petition, additional documents were tendered. The world level results for 17 states were tendered at the hearing on Tuesday after completing the tendering of polling unit results of 20 states. And Peter Obi's team of lawyers say they are delighted with the pace of the hearing of their case despite only presenting one witness so far. Don't mind the number of witnesses listed. We may end up calling 10 or 7 depending on. Um, our judgment as to what is relevant to be proved. 
Not all witnesses are certainly will come in. But at the time we were asked to mention number of witnesses that we need, we just had to give a figure. But certainly with the documents in, a lot of witnesses may no longer be necessary. Who posted it? Why would you be recording a video without telling me? I have a right to record a video on my own phone. Did you with my me, own did phone. Did you tell me you were recording? Did you tell me? Wait, excuse I have to tell you before I record a video. Because I was inside now. It can't one need recording. The whole point of it wasn't to put it on social media. Did so I, I helped you to put it now. Why are you shouting? Oh. Yes, now what do you go there? Game on. What do you mean? Game on. Okay, for more, I am going to retaliate. <laughs> I, I, I am going to retaliate. I am going to tell people what they don't even know about you. Which is what? Mm, what you will see it on net. Now, which is no, what? it's game on now. Should be you posted one. See it on net. Wait, see wait, it on wait, net. You are taking this thing too far. Okay. You are taking this thing too far. You are okay. taking this thing too far. You will, no. like, you will not like the outcome. Okay. You need to take this thing too far. All you right. You are taking this thing too far. You, you are already making another video. Somebody, any any little thing you put your phone. Any you started it now. Are we feel like you post? Are we feel like you post? Are we feel like you post too? Any, any, any little argument you put in your phone, something that we can just sit down and, and talk, talk simply. You raise your phone and start to talk for them. You started it. You will see, just post anything. Post anything you like on my social media page because you have access. You will see what I'm going to post. I'll shock you. No problem. Let's just bring, let's bring everything out of here. Put them on everything. Fine. There are things that a lot of people still don't know about you. So many things. Not one, not two. There are things that people don't know about you. I'll bring all of them out. I'll shock you. No problem. Carry on. Shock me, oh, shock me. Shock me, I'm waiting. Shock me. But before that, I'll shock you first. Before that, I'll post your own first. And then I'll shock you first. I'm talking. You can't just listen. Simple thing, listen, listen, listening is always a problem. Why? Okay. Listen, listen, that's all. Did I not listen to you? No, seriously, did I not listen to you? I listened to you, but the thing is that I did not agree with what you were saying. And because I did not agree with what you were saying, it became a problem. It simply became a problem. That is not the issue. And then you went and posted something online without asking me first. The issue, That's the, the main concern. Stop the twisting issue, it. You're twisting the, it. The issue, but I'm, not twisting the I'm not twisting anything. The issue is that you sided, you sided my friend who did something wrong. You sided my friend who did something wrong. That's it. And then to even make matters worse, now we're going to bring out the phone. Then in town, where Kazi and John, you started me doing, doing a video, doing a video without letting me know. Recording something, and then when I in a without letting me know. Is that, is that enough reason for you to go and post it? But you wanted to post it. Now. Is that why you will not go and post it? Ha! Of which you post, yeah. The whole aim was to order, order to post. No problem now. I helped you to post it. Alright, I helped you. But all I'm just telling you is fine. That thing you want to do. What else? Ain't that chasing poor? No, I'm, I'm trying to tell you to have the zero now. Let what me, you tell me to leave the bathroom? Are you going to tell me when to leave the bathroom? I did not say you should. When did I say you should? Did I say you should leave the bathroom? That's what you were going to did say. Did I not put my mouth and say please? That day back at Sibaga, I see my presence no, here. Just just wanted, yeah. the, I, you know I'm getting ready now. Okay, okay, okay. When did I say you should leave the bathroom? No, why not go zero poor? I'm getting fed up, oh. You hear it, you know what I'm I'm getting fed up, honestly. I am getting fed up. I am going to do something drastic. I'm going to do something that you never expected. I'll do something you won't like. Believe me, I'm getting fed up. Because this was, I mean, this was not the plan from the beginning. Whatever, you have not the plan from the beginning. Whatever it is you want to do, is no, is no, there's no problem. Do it. Do it. Let's rest. Do it, Biko. And you think you'll rest? Who will allow you rest? Yeah. You will not rest. I'm going to rest for another day. You will not rest. You will not rest. You cannot be giving me headache. You think you'll rest. You will not rest. In them headache, get headache. Give me headache, I'll give you headache. Okay. That's how it works. I've heard now, no problem. It's a white drop, no problem. I've heard. Somebody cannot, you can't just come out like this and accept your mistake. You make a mistake, nobody is perfect. I'm not perfect, you are not perfect. You all make mistakes. If you have, if you don't think that you make a, you made a mistake, you say, okay, fine, I'm sorry. You will not accept. I will, say, I will say I'm sorry when I know I'm wrong. Oh, you are wrong now. Oh, okay. You are wrong. You are wrong. This is BOD TV Board. In case the first time you come here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more uploads.